Hello again, friends. It's Neil, our dad, and welcome you in once again for another episode of the Negro Leagues. As you can see, we're wearing our Boston Red Sox shirt. This is which one of the ones you can actually make us wear if you play the Streamlutes card. We're wearing it today in front honor of our friend Jeff Games, who's been going through a rough time. Just wanted to cheer him up a little bit. So, Jeff, that's one's for you, my friend. Up on the cap tonight in the Negro Leagues is Mr. Hank Thompson. Hank Thompson is one of baseball's barrier breakers, although so many folks have never heard of who this legendary ball player was. It's such a great job with Hank this Thompson, along with his Monarch teammate, Willard Brown, would join the St. Louis Browns in 1947. They would become the first two African-American teammates in the modern era of Major League Don't Baseball. Don't forget, if you haven't hit the like button, the subscribe button, the follow team. buttons, wherever you guys are watching this, please Just do shortly so. Just after Jackie Robinson, you know, Larry Stobie, on Twitch. Usually Monday to Fridays, guys, 6 p.m. Eastern Time in the evening, sometime, and then some mornings they as well, or bright and early before I go to work. Baseball's color barrier. But Hank Thompson, he had I really all hope the you guys will play this series. To be a line. superstar. He's a superstar. Okay. Okay then. All right, we got a break. We got a tally two hits here. The first mission was Mr. Thompson. Tank playing with again with the Kansas City Monarchs. Third baseman this time. All right. As we welcome you into Kansas City, Missouri. Neil Backer, see you. And Thompson gets a hold of the first pitch he sees deep to right field. Right fielder's going to watch that one go off and over the fence. And got himself a double. Off the top of the fence and stayed in. Missed it by inches. Thompson's got a double in the RBI in the first inning. Now we're in the bottom of the third. Looking for hit number two. Got underneath that one. That's going to be trouble. Left fielder's going back. He'll make the catch. And Thompson's retired for the out. Thompson one for two here in the home half of the sixth inning. In a 1-1 tie. Runner leads off second base here. The ground ball hits the second baseman. Thompson tries to leg it out and it won't get there in time. Now we're out to the bottom of the seventh inning. Monarchs leading the Chicago team. 2 1. Oh, way ahead of that pitch. <coughs> Sacks are drunk here. One away. Thompson with a chance to blow this one open. Number in the center field that's going to drop in for a base hit. A run's going to score. Throw to the plate. Thompson's making it right around first. He'll slide in safely behind the tag. But he got his two hits. And the mission's done. Fair doubles for Hank Thompson. And the instant star is the next episode. Henry Hank Thompson is a tremendously underrated baseball player. He joins the Kansas City Monarchs at age 17 and became 17, almost yeah. an instant star, playing the infield primarily third base. But Hank Thompson was also a war hero. He was a machine gunner during World War II, fought in the Battle of the Bulge. When he was discharged from the military in 1946, resumed a great career right the moment he gets back with the Monarchs. Hank Thompson had stardom written all over him. That is so cool. Oops, sorry if you're hearing the dogs. The little one gets kind of itchy about anything going past the front window. Had star quality all over him. Bob Kendrick said that. Okay. All right, we playing third base this time? No, I guess we're just hitting. All right, our mission this time is to get two extra base hits. Well, we got that, and we got two games remaining. Got two games remaining to do that. Oh, 
Oh man, way ahead of that. Way, way ahead of that. It's more like Zach Grinky slow slowness there. Way ahead. No. Let that one sail in. Let it sail in here. One one pitch on its way momentarily here. Bullet hit right up the third base when he makes a great glove grab, and Thompson's retired here in the first inning. Thompson 0 for 1 on the line out to the third base when his last time up. Kansas City up 3 0 on Chicago. Smoking on that one. Just got to get the timing down. And thanks for the comments on the videos. We do appreciate it. It's been our pleasure to bring these to you. That one's lined up the middle. This time he's not going to get that one. But he's going to, somebody in front of us is going to stop at first, or stop at second with a second with only a one base here. So we can't advance. Need extra base hits, unfortunately. And that won't do it. Kansas City up 4 1 here in the fifth. All ones that count. Four seamer change up curveball. No wonder everything looks kind of slow. Got another bullet, but unfortunately, just gonna die there. We're gonna have to hit something over the park here. Two for three with a pair of singles and a bullet hit the third baseman. As we're now in the seventh inning. Off the end of the bat, but it's gonna get through this time. Runners being held again at first and second. We're now in the eighth inning. He's three for four with a trio of singles and an RBI. That was the leader to second base. They're going to float a second. They get the force at two, but that they're not. Thompson beats out the tail end. Now three for five with two runs scored. And we're in the top of the ninth inning. It's 11 to one. The Monarchs over Chicago. Well, I missed that one. Way early. That one's got some mustard behind it, and that's going to go off the fence. Thompson will round first and head to second. He's got an extra base hit. And he's got another run hit, and it's now the Monarchs leading this one 13 to 1. Got one game remaining, so we'll exit there and go back into it. Well, they fix these carryover moments now. I remember last year was such a problem with them. So, yeah, we'll see. Fingers crossed it's fixed. Top of the first inning, no score so far. Two away. Thompson up the plate. We're late on that one this time. It's the same kind of pitches, though. Probably the same pitcher. The standing room only crowd, and that's, that's for sure. This one's going to be caught by the left fielder, and Thompson's retired for out number one. Or out number three here in the first. 2-2 two is the score here in the top of the third inning now. Ooh. That changeup just keeps messing me up. And I was way behind on that one. And it's a one two. Still in a base, an extra base knock here. And we go down swinging there, so that's not going to help. Thompson is 0 for 2 here in the, in the top of the sixth, getting out in 2 2 tie. It's a bolt to center field. Can we get enough whales to leg this one out? We're going to try. The throw is going to be offline. We're going to be in there safely. And we'll get the double. There we go. Mission complete. We got a double. Thanks for an Aaron throw in my hand. A great hitter at 17 years old. 
next episode. But yes, it's been lots of fun. And hopefully everybody is having fun so far. And hopefully the washing machine's not being picked up here. It's Sunday, so we're doing laundry. <laughs> but thank you so much for hanging out with us and watching this series. Might be caught. Tally two hits. Okay. We just got to get two hits. Don't have to be extra base. It's just got to be two hits. On one. Fastball, curveball, and change up. Usual fair. Well, they're definitely throwing those change ups, but it will here. I think we're going to reset this one. No, we're not. Won't let us anyways. That one's up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. Thankfully, we didn't reset that one. We got the base knock. And we got a base runner board here. So we head to the top of whatever inning we're now going to be now. Bottom of the sixth inning. Chicago up 5-0 on Kansas City now. Crush that one! To right field, and that one is going to go off the fence. Center fielder is going to get this one. I think I remember this park from uh, last year. This is the one we had the well, two years ago. We had the Clemente messing up. I don't think this is the actual park, but it just seems like that. How the height, the fences are that tall. We got a five-tool player now. Okay. Hank Thompson had all the tools you needed to be a great star. He was essentially a five-tool third baseman who hit for power, hit for average, could field, could run, and could throw. And Played could throw. a That's dazzling thing. infield, primarily third base. Yeah, that's how good Hank Thompson was. They did such a great job on this series. I hope you guys will take the time to play this. Plus, you get the 90 cards. What you know when you're just starting out is not a bad thing to get a little boost to your lineup. Stuck on this mission for a little while now. And we do it in the first pitch. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I was stuck on this one for days and I do it in the first pitch. That's crazy. First pitch gone. There we go. Maybe we're just not good with the PlayStation controller. I switched to the Xbox one. First pitch swinging. I crushed it. Couldn't hit that thing for a while. The St. Louis Browns thought that Hank Thompson and Willard Brown would do for them what Jackie had done for Brooklyn in terms of black fans coming over to watch the Browns play. And so they never got a fair shot with the St. Louis Browns. Hank Thompson and Willard Brown both realized that they had left a team in the Kansas City Monarchs who were far better than the St. Louis Browns. Hank Thompson comes back home to Kansas City and immediately puts up huge numbers. Shortly thereafter, the New York Giants come calling. We are Henry Giants. Thompson again would break barriers by becoming the only player to integrate two major league teams, the St. Louis Browns and the New York Giants. All right. So now we got past that nightmare mission we were having problems with it was shades of roberto clemente forever like seriously we did this we, we started recording this on sunday it's now friday night <laughs> we were stuck on that mission we tried everything else we went and did other things just couldn't hit that home run and now i switched over to the xbox version and boom first pitch swinging just tattooed it <laughs> Kelly and rbi don't strike out at one time okay so don't strike out an rbi it's simple. Get a base hit. <coughs> Anybody can do it. Just not me. Don't want to strike out now.
Goodness, I couldn't hit the home run. Now I'm hitting nothing but home runs. <laughs> you better run, boy, because you're right at the base here. We didn't strike out. We got the RBI. And that mission's done successfully, too. All it took was switching over to the Xbox. Go figure. Go figure. Hank and Bob Feller. Is the next episode. But again, thank you so much for watching this series on YouTube. We really appreciate it, and I hope you guys are really enjoying this. This really, 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 really invigorated my my passion for baseball this year. And Bob Kendrick, my goodness, I gotta tip my cap to you, sir. You definitely want me to? You're gonna make me make a trip down to St. Louis, down to Kansas City after that. I come visit you down there. Buckle Neal, Quincy Truth, Willard Brown. And according to Bob Feller, the best of the bunch on that Satchel Page All-Star team was a young Hank Thompson. Young Hank Thompson. All right. Yes, yeah, so I hope you guys are really enjoying this. The storylines and everything else they've been throwing through too as well, so. We're having a blast with it. And I cannot believe it. it's much easier on the Xbox than it was on the PlayStation. Literally, it was one swing on the Xbox. I've been struggling with it for a week on the, on the PlayStation. It was literally one swing here. Just one swing and it was boom, done. Oops, I guess I gotta look at the missions here. I gotta get a hit off Bob Feller. That one's popped up a mile high here. <clears throat> That's not the hit. That's not the hit we need there. We popped up for the catcher last time. Oh, we popped that one up in the infield too. That one's driven to center field, but that's not going to do any damage here. This is the stadium from that Clemente hits the home run in a couple years ago. That mission was a pain in the butt. You guys remember that daily moment? That was nuts. Did not get the home run to leave this park at all. You can find us on Twitch, usually Monday to Fridays at 6 a.m. Eastern Time and 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Before and after work and after dinner. Our weekends we're usually here found on Twitch, YouTube, and other places as well. Looking for us on any place other than uh, YouTube, look for Dad's Backlog. That's our main channel. I said the baseball as Dad plays the show. We're usually only for baseball related content. Everything else we do, retro games, some Fortnite, some Halo, some other stuff like that, all goes into. Uh, Dad's back on, on YouTube. We're going to get thrown out going to second, but we got the hit. So the mission is a success anyways. Yeah, we somehow got stuck on the other thing. More barriers broken. Okay, that's the next episode here. Yeah, we got stuck on that home run. Sorry, I keep going back to it, but we were stuck literally for like five days on that home run. And I come to the Xbox and it's the first swing. <laughs> Where they become the two first black players to compete against one another in the Maybe just because I'm so accustomed to playing on Xbox like I had in the last couple years. Oh, but there's more. But this year I have a PlayStation 5, so it was like, okay, let's try the PlayStation first. And it will be the first time that a black hitter had faced a black pitcher <laughs> in Major League Baseball history. And of course, Hank Thompson, Willie Mays, and the great Monty Irvin would form the Major's first all black outfield even though hank thompson was an infielder by trade his versatility made him very special
Count one and oh. out. Henry Thompson's career was cut so short by some of his own doing, and he would be the first if he was still with us to tell you that he lived his life in such a way that it really did kind of hurt his professional baseball career. He only plays nine years in the major leagues. And again, it's so unfortunate that his career was cut so dreadfully short that it never got to play out in the fashion in which Henry Thompson would be the first to say, that he wish it would have had things worked out maybe a little bit differently. Henry suffered a lot of darkness during his childhood that unfortunately carried over into his playing career that really hindered him from having what I believe would have potentially been a Hall of Fame caliber career.